Communications. Yes, there are thousands in our family. Their work is an integral part of what will be the best picture of the year and of every picture of every year. The award that is about to be given then is a tribute to each and every one of them. The best motion picture is... Hi, everybody. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Thanks for joining us tonight on TCM as we continue with 31 Days of Oscar. Coming up, we have two of the five Best Picture nominees of 1966. The second film in our double feature won the Best Picture Oscar, A Man for All Seasons. But up first, the movie that tied A Man for All Seasons with eight nominations in total. From 1966, of course, The Sand Pebbles. The movie stars Steve McQueen in his only Oscar-nominated performance. McQueen plays a rebellious machinist in the U.S. Navy. He's just been assigned to the San Pablo, a U.S. gunboat navigating China's Yangtze River in 1926. The political climate in China was tense at the time. Chinese warlords want all foreigners out of the country, but the crew self-named the Sand Pebbles as orders to protect the local American citizens. Producer-director Robert Wise originally wanted Paul Newman in the lead, but Newman turned it down. Wise then turned to McQueen, whom he thought would be great. This was 1962, though, four years before the movie was actually released. Wise gave McQueen his first big break, casting the fledgling actor in a small part in the 1955 boxing biopic, Somebody Up There Likes Me, which, incidentally, starred Paul Newman. But again, in 1962, Fox Studio execs did not consider McQueen a big enough star to carry a big-budget film. They weren't even entirely sure about Wise directing the project, even though Wise had already won an Oscar for West Side Story. So Wise went off and directed another Oscar-winning hit, The Sound of Music. And McQueen, in the meantime, became box office gold with The Great Escape. So when Wise returned to the studio with his revived plan to make the sand pebbles, there were no longer any objections to McQueen. From 1966, also starring Richard Attenborough, Candace Bergen, and Mako, who earned a Best Supporting Actor Oscar nomination for playing McQueen's engine room assistant and friend, here's the sand pebbles. Thank you. 